It is the fall, my favorite time of year. And pumpkin are everywhere, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you a super easy pasta, but so full of flavor with only three ingredients, pumpkin, sausage, and your favorite short pasta. It's gonna be amazing, and you're gonna be wanting to do it all year round. Hey, welcome to my channel where I teach you cooking and baking techniques through super fun and delicious recipes. So if you're into that, please consider subscribing and ring the bell. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we gotta do is peel our squash. I'm using butternut squash, but you could also use acorn squash or just get the one that comes cubed for you in the supermarket, super easy. Otherwise, you gotta chop it and I'm gonna cut it in cubes and put it on a sheet tray with some olive oil, salt and pepper and we're gonna roast it in the oven so it gets all caramelized and delicious and gives even more flavor to our pasta. Halfway through the cooking process, give them a shake and interchange the sheet tray so that they all roast equally in your oven. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do while the pumpkin roasts in the oven is to take the sausage out of the casing. Um, so I'm using a mild Italian sausage. It has a little bit of fennel, some uh, onion, some garlic, but you can use any sausage you like. It would also be really nice with like a spicy sausage or uh, maybe something with a nutmeg or ginger if you wanna take it in a completely different direction, but it still goes really well with pumpkin. So whatever you'd like, I like this one with a little fennel, but like I said, spices or maybe some spiciness, it would be really nice as well. So you can take it out by either just splitting it in half and we're gonna put it directly into the pan. And then just with a spoon, you can take it out and we're gonna put it directly into the pan. Or the other option is simply, let me show you really quick, is simply just cutting the tip and squeezing it out, which I find much, much easier. So now we just have to cook the sausage, right? I didn't add any fat to the pan because the sausage already has enough fat. Unless you buy a sausage that you know it's lean and maybe a little bit of extra virgin olive oil would be nice. Um, once it's already like halfway through, I'm gonna taste it to see if it needs to be seasoned. But otherwise, I'm just gonna keep moving it, just separating it so it doesn't like clump up. And that's pretty much it. When the pumpkin is ready, we'll just boil the pasta and put everything together. Use a flat spatula to break up any big pieces of sausage and make sure you're searing it all the way so that it becomes really nice and golden brown. Okay, so we're almost there. Our pumpkin roasted in the oven, our sausage cooked in the pan until it was really golden brown. And now we just have to boil the pasta. And if you're wondering how long, how, how to boil pasta so that it's always al dente, check out my video, which I'm gonna link above, on how to boil pasta so that it is always al dente by the time it hits the table. I talk about all the techniques. But before that, what do I always say? Taste, 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 right? So if all of our components are seasoned, then that's gonna ensure that I have full flavor when I put them all together. So let's taste the pumpkin. Mm. It is sweet. It has plenty of salt and pepper. I don't need to add anything else in the sausage. Mm. It has this delicious, like crunchy texture with um, like a little hint of fennel. Mm. It's gonna be good with whichever sausage you like. And then the last thing is just to season the water that we're gonna boil our pasta in. So we have to add salt, right? And then we're just gonna boil it and I'll show you how to put everything together. Okay, so our pasta is ready and I'm just gonna transfer it directly into my sausage and we're gonna saute for a little bit and then we're gonna add the pumpkin. Now notice that I am not draining it because as I always say, it's important to preserve the pasta water because we're gonna use some of that to saute everything later, okay? So now we just have to put everything together. I'm gonna add a little bit of pasta water to make sure that it, everything gets really creamy with the starches left in the pasta water. And as soon as this evaporates, I'm gonna add the pumpkin and saute for a second more. All right, time to add the pumpkin. A tiny, tiny bit more pasta water, and we're done. All 
All right, fire off. What I always say, again, taste, 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 right? So let me get a little piece of each. Mmm. The pasta is still al dente. Mmm, and you get, like, the sweetness from the pumpkin and like the golden brown crunchiness from the sausage, it's amazing. But we still need my favorite thing, right? Cheese. And for this one, I really like Parmigiano Reggiano, but you could also add Pecorino if you want. I like adding a little bit to the pan itself because it's gonna make it really, really creamy. Another thing you could add to this pasta is maybe some sauteed shallots or sauteed uh, red onions, but it really doesn't need much. All of the components have so much flavor. A little saute, and that's it. So I really hope you make this for the fall or any time of the year, and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to learn any techniques. I'm just gonna keep eating this. Enjoy the fall season, enjoy all the pumpkins, and I hope you can enjoy this with your family too.